Yeah, he, he did get a major. 23-15 major. I had a 23-14. I don't know what was going on. All I know is Drew Horn was down 7-1, was bounced off of his neck, wasn't even sure he'd be able to continue, and he comes on to major. Zach Mafaro, absolutely fantastic. A takedown. Well, well, Robert Malise just dumped down his opponent, who we believe is Gavin Apgar to his head, and that was stopped by referee Frank Leitner. So now they will come out, trainer Dwayne Bryda taking a look at him. Apgar is up to his feet. And he says he's okay. Dwayne Bryda gonna check him out fully up on his feet. Coach Gill indicating he's okay. Okay, Mike, when was the last time you saw a bout like that? It's been a while. Apgar with a penalty point, up 1-0. Apgar weighs 198 four, And Robert Malise, who was uh, talking things over with Frank Leitner, Robert Malise says, hey, uh, that was my fault, that's on me. Malise, 217-3. Malise has a takedown. Leads two to one. Robert picks up on the left leg to flatten him out. See if he goes, now he's reaching for a cross face cradle. Malise trying to take the left elbow back to the knee. He has a cross face cradle. Malise will take Apgar front to back. Well, Apgar rolled on through once, pops the cross face. Malise picks up on the left ankle again, trying to flatten him out. Working a lever now, head in the left arm. Belize reaching cross now, half Nelson from the left side. Once, and now he bars the left arm. Apgar gets to his knees. One minute to go here in the first. Belize on top, two to one. Robert coming off fifth and second place finishes in the state. He's got the right arm barred and has the left wrist. Up on his toes to run the bar, and he's got Apgar on his back, and he gets the fall. In a minute 18, with an arm bar for Robert Malise. We are through. A hard wasted no time. No, uh, you know, Ethan Young, Coach Hosbach, said that uh, he was a put together 195 pounder, and he was. I mean, very good looking 195 as far as um, body wise but um, Drew Horn all the experience in the world over Young making his first start and um, put the state liners gave him their second fall of the night and they're up 22 to 15 and Robert Valise has a quick takedown over Brody Oberly Valise tried to check him back now looking for a cement job and Valise has the takedown, has Oberly on his back. Looking in is referee Mike Inonosha. Malise trying to get more. Picks up on the legs, body press and a fall for Malise in 29 seconds. Regains the lead at 9-6. Now Robert Malise at 2-20. State runner-up a year ago, senior 17 and two. Daniel Jimenez for Hanover Park. He is a junior six and eight. Malise will be a big favorite here. In right away on a double is Malise. He's behind Jimenez, picks him up, drops him to his knees. Malise has a takedown and leads two to nothing. Malise reaching inside for the left wrist. Off the mat they go, right in front of our StatelinerSports.com microphones with a minute 45 to go in the first. These two wrestled last year when Phillipsburg defeated Hanover Park 43-25 and Malise was a winner by fall in 12 seconds. Malise picking up win number 100 in his career against 19 losses last night. He has barred the left arm. Reaches inside. Gonna, he's gonna go for a double arm bar. Nope, now he's gonna drive him over and rolling on through. Now he bars the other arm. 
picks up on the head. Body press by Malise. Looking in is Anthony Zullo. And the fall. 39 seconds for Robert Malise. We are through four. It's Phillipsburg 14 and headliners. That came in 4-12. It is 34-27. Phillipsburg as Robert Malise comes out. And it'll be Jonathan Pineda, a junior, 24 and seven. And this is a story in itself for Easton. This kid was on JVs last year, and here he is now, 24 and seven for the Easton Red Rovers in their starting uh, lineup on varsity this year. In right away is Malise, single double, drops him down, gets a takedown and they're off, it's two nothing. Takedown in five seconds for Malise. Pineda finished seventh in the Hurricane, sixth in the Escape the Rock. He stands, he is out, and it's two to one. Malise trying to work a throw, a, a cement job. He's got the cement job, he has some Pineda on his back. Malise trying to get more on the right shoulder, picks up on the head in the fall. Twenty-nine seconds for Robert Malise. And Phillipsburg defeats Easton tonight. Forty to twenty-seven. The State Liners with four falls. State Liners have two falls, a tech and a major, nine bonus points. Woodbridge has a fall, a major, and two regular decisions. Robert Malise for Phillipsburg at 220. Balance, Vince Sacchino, a senior, 17 and four for Woodbridge. Malise, a senior, 23 and two. State runner up a year ago. Fifth place finisher as a sophomore in this same weight class. They're off, no advantage here, 20 seconds in. Malise weighs 218.5. Zucchino, 205.4. Common opponent for these two with Sayreville is Benedict Arthur, and both these guys pinned Arthur in the first period. Malise looking for a cement job. Forty-five seconds in, no advantage. Stalemates called by referee Zach Papa. Malise tried to get in on the right leg, couldn't pull it in. Sakino looking for a front head and arm, trying to snap Malise down to his knees. Malise fights that off, no advantage. And are off the mat at 51 seconds. Sakino looking for a bear hug. Referee Papa towing both wrestlers, like to see a little action. Sakino tries to underhook the right shoulder. Stalemate's called at 28 seconds. Sakino looking for a Russian tie. Under 20 seconds to go. Now Malise looking for the, a bear hug. Sakino gets inside. Final five seconds. Scoreless first here at 220. Vince Sacchino, Woodbridge, Robert Malise of Phillipsburg. Malise will go underneath to start the second. Our third scoreless first period of the night. And we're in the ninth of 14. Malise sits. 
Turns in, Malise has a reversal. Malise leads two to nothing. Got see that if, reversal in five seconds. He's, see if he's gonna bar the left arm. Takes the right wrist. Up on his toes to drive the bar. Malise has him on his back with an arm bar. Referee Papa calls the fall in 222 for Robert Malise. He is deadly with that arm bar. We are through the Phillipsburg at 195. We are through four. It's Phillipsburg 10 and Kingsway three. State Liners have a major and two regular decisions. Kingsway has a regular decision. Robert Malise, the senior 25 and two, weighing 219.4 against Miles Payne, a junior three and 12 who weighs 120.9. Malise right away in a throw. He's got Miles on his back, Miles Payne on his back. Roth has both arms tied up, body press on the shoulder, and a fall in 11 seconds. For Robert Malise. It is Mendham 12 and Phillipsburg nothing. Robert Malise will go out at 220 for Phillipsburg. State runner up a year ago, senior 26 and 2. And this is Robert Longo, the senior, six and seven. Well, he's gonna be a heavy favorite here. He is, and um, he needs to get something going. The Phillipsburg crowd has not had much to cheer about so far. Phillipsburg losing the first three bouts here. A one nothing decision at 170, a seven two decision at 182, and then a fall at 195. Malise has a takedown. He's got 25 pounds on Longo. Has a cradle. And a body press. Referee Jason Long looking, Jason Brown looking in, and the fall in 18 seconds with a cradle for Robert Malise. We are through four. Yeah, they're wrestling the consolation finals right now. All right, Robert Malise is out here at 220. Malise. A 12 second winner in the quarterfinals. Jim, I will, I will call this. We're going to have to find out who won that one. The, uh, at two, who Robert Malise's opponent will be. Malise has a takedown. Leads 2 0. Malise. Barring the left arm. Reaches inside for the right wrist. Malise up on his toes to drive the bar. Chris Rebels is the referee. Now Malise has a double arm bar. And steps across. And has uh, on his back and gets the fall in 57. With a double arm bar. Over Stephen Murphy of Caldwell. Fall in 57 seconds for one and five. The State Liners at 194 team points. Mendham at 189, five, as we will go to 220. Place winners at 182 pounds. Mike Cervais in third place from Mendham. Second place, Kassan Quince McGee from Montclair. And your champion at 182 pounds, Christian Della Riva, Della Riva from Caldwell. Della Riva, a 13 to seven winner over McGee. Quince McGee in the 182 pound final as we are set for Phillipsburg's Robert Malise as he goes for a 220 pound title here. Malise looking for his third championship. He is a senior, 29 and two. The two losses back in December at the Beast of the East. Sam Mello undefeated. Malise is in on the left right leg. Can't finish as they go off. Mello 29 and 0. 
Belize looking for a cement job. Has a had a cradle. Has the right leg of Mello. Trips. Belize has a takedown and leads 2-0 as they go off. Belize on top, 2-0. Robert in a state liner, gray singlet. Susie state liner on the left hip. Right hand tight waist, left elbow. Belize trying to chop at that left elbow. Would like to break him down and work an arm bar. Belize flattens him out. Reaches for the left arm. Bars the left arm. Forty seconds gone. Malise on top. Two nothing. Robert, state runner up a year ago. Fifth as a sophomore. Trying to he's got the left arm barred. Reinforces the bar. Now reaches inside for the right wrist with the left arm barred. Up on his toes to drive the bar. He's got Mello on his back. And the fall. In a minute 17 for Robert Malise. Career fall number 70. The state liner school record. And Malise with of Phillipsburg. He's ahead 2-0 against Brody Oberly of Warren Hills. He pinned Oberly in 29 seconds last month. Malise has the left arm barred. Loses, the, still has it barred. Double arm bar for Malise. Double arm bar. Up on his toes to drive it. Up on his toes. Now gets out the left side. Trying to switch to the right side and to turn him to his left. Back points coming for Robert Malise with a double arm bar. He's got a lot of time. He's got a minute 10 to go. Body press on that left shoulder of Brody Oberly of Warren Hills. Malise going to get more in that left, going to settle his weight back. Again, more on the left shoulder. Malise steps across with the bar. More on the right shoulder. Just under 45 seconds to go. And the fall for Robert Malise in a minute 19. A year ago, we'll go against Sam Mello. And it was Malise and Mello in the 220 pound final a week ago. And it was Malise winner by fall in a minute 17 with an arm bar. Robert using a double arm bar to get his fall in the semis today in a minute 19 over Brody Oberly of Warren Hills. He had a fall in a minute 40 last night over uh, Kayon Means Bowman of Queen of Peace. Robert Malise, a two-time Hunter and Sussex Warren champion, a two-time Bethlehem Holiday champion, and Sam Mello comes in, a two-time Union City tournament champ, an Essex County champion, a Mountain Lakes tournament champion, and a Clifton tournament champion. Last week, uh, that did not impress Phillipsburg's Robert Malise. Referee for this match is Rick Gershio, assisted by Doug Bush. Robert Malise has been on a mission, so you better talk now because he's been uh, making short work on the mat as of late. Dives right in, looking for a double, picks up, steps through, has a takedown. Belize on top two to nothing, and he is barring the left arm. He has the left arm. Trying to set up a hazard with that. Reaches inside now for the left wrist. He's got the right arm barred, takes the left wrist. 
trying to step across Mello. Mello fights that off. Malie's going to break him down again. Robert bars the right arm. Has the left wrist at the elbow. Steps across. Has Mello on his back. Plenty of time. Picks up on the head. Body press on the left shoulder. Ties up both arms. The body press by Malise. And the fall in 58 seconds for Robert Malise. Robert Malise is a two-time district champion and heads to the...